Hi, I'm Chioma Fabian Kimakonam, also known as Chioma Fabian. I'm a YouTuber, content creator, um, scriptwriter, and I'm the CEO of Chioma Fabian School of Writing, and I'm here live on Create with Edica. I'm an introvert. I'm quiet, reserved. I, I like making use of opportunities. I thrive in challenges. I mean, I try to make sure that I don't get overwhelmed by anything I might, might be going through. And I love staying motivated. I love doing things that keep me happy. Yeah, I'm just cool. I would describe myself as a cool person. Creativity. That, that is one word that is, I mean, I've tried so hard to look for a very vivid, um, a very vivid explanation of what creativity means to me. In my own words, I feel like creativity is sometimes doing something that you're not sure of, doing something new that you yourself, you're not sure of, doing something that people might question, but something that is different and something that, that would definitely make people say wow like that's just it creating magic all right I started writing or I was inspired to start on the basis of the need to start doing something I mean it was during COVID period when everybody was just there you know the whole lockdown and everything and I was tired I didn't just want to be there I needed to start doing something I wanted to start doing something for myself and I wanted to be different and so that was when I remembered that I am actually a writer, I can actually write. So that was what inspired me to start writing scripts for films. And then um, for content creation, I'm an introvert, like I said earlier, I hardly get to talk or interact with people. So I see social media, camera to be precise, I see the camera as a means to talk to people, I see the camera as a means to air out my thoughts, you know, I just see it as I can just pick up my camera, say something, create content, and at the end of the day, it's going to be like, people will be like, wow, that's nice. So that was what inspired me to pick up my camera, to start YouTube, and to start writing. Ideas, ideas. Okay, ideas are, <laughs> ideas are everywhere, I would say. Ideas are everywhere. You can pick ideas from every single thing. Even with what's happening here today, I can get an idea that I can work on, I can work on a story with. I get ideas from conversations with people. I get ideas from experiences, things I have experienced. I get ideas from things people experienced and sometimes when I'm sleeping too, something just pops in and it becomes an idea and I just have to start working on it. So ideas are everywhere. So if you ask me what my ultimate goal is, it's going to be um, becoming one of the well-known scriptwriters. I mean, I want it to be that whenever they call scriptwriters in Nigeria, top scriptwriters in Nigeria, Chioma Feiwon Kimakonam is going to be on the list. So my goal is also to, um, to build my school of writing to be way bigger than it is now. I mean, I want to be known, I want to be able to have a school where I can train people that also want to do this writing of a thing and yeah so that is basically my ultimate goal to be well known in the script writing world and to have my school of writing as well to be big like bigger than it is now so it's not easy to manage writing and schooling to be honest like that is not the easiest of things i mean i have to keep up with my academics and I have to also keep up to delivering at the particular time I'm told to do so. And so I just had to make use of time management and discipline. Time management in the sense that I knew when I wanted to work and I knew when I wanted to study. So whenever I wanted to study, I just gave my all to studying. And when I wanted to work, I gave my all to working. So I just had to, you know, create a balance between the two so that they don't get distorted by, by each other. 
<laughs> uh, starting uni at 15, it was not really the sweetest of things, and at the same time, it was not bitter. It was a roller coaster of feelings, of emotions. I mean, at some point, I stepped in feeling like, oh my god, I just wish that I had waited you know, till 17 or so. And at some point, I was grateful that I started very early. I mean, I started mingling with the big people, like people that are way matured than I was. And it made me to learn a lot of things. I learned things earlier because of that. And the experience was cool. I mean, it was great. The knowledge I accumulated that period. And for the fact that if they bring my mates then and they bring me, it's more like <laughs> they can't even stand stand a chance, something like that. So. Anyways, it was a nice experience. It was a nice experience. All right, so what motivates me in all this thing I'm doing? Um, firstly, is the fact that people are watching me. I mean, people are looking at me and that is one thing that motivates me. I know that because of that, I know that I can keep pushing. You know, I need to keep going because a lot of people are looking at me and a lot of people look up to me. I mean, one day I was walking and someone met me and the person was like, are you Chama baby? And I was like, yes. And the person was like, I watch your content. You know, that kind of, those kind of things makes me to just want to keep going. I mean, I can't let them down, people that are looking at me. And for the fact that even though I'm not doing enough, there are still people out there that appreciate the little thing I do. There are people out there that appreciate the little contents I create and and everything. I just want to be successful in essence. So that's my greatest motivation to just keep doing, to keep pushing, to keep going. Uh, definitely. I mean, I feel like at any point we find ourselves, we there are times we feel that we're not doing enough. We are humans and sometimes I feel like Choma, you're not putting much effort in writing. Like sometimes I feel like I should have written um, movies that have gone to Netflix. I feel like I should have written movies that have gone to the cinema. But at the same time, when I look back, I also realize that I've done enough so far, like for this level. So definitely there are stages or there are situations whereby you get overwhelmed and you start feeling that you're not doing enough for yourself. But in that case, the only thing I do is that I look back at myself, I look back at where I am now, and I just realize that I'm doing well. I mean, I'm doing well. My my major challenge in writing, I don't lie, is meeting up to deadlines. So like, hey, hey, God, deadlines. I mean, there are times a producer will just call you and be like, write this script. I want it next week and by the time you do your research, by the time you start writing it down, by the time you start writing the script, by the time you start plotting, you see that that one week is already gone and then they'll be on your neck. Every minute they start calling you like, where's the script, where's the script? And sometimes it's just annoying, it's frustrating and that I think that is one challenge I have when it comes to writing, meeting up to deadline. You know, writing is not joke -o. like it's no joke at all. You have to think, you have to sit down and think very well. So that is one major setback I have in when it comes to writing. Yeah. Critics. <laughs> all right. Um, my works have been criticized, both good critics, bad critics. I remember when I started writing for the very first time, when I took my script to the producer, I was like, this is trash. Like, and I was like, hey, oh my God. It was not really easy, but I mean, then later on, as time went on, I, I started doing well and good comments started coming in. They started telling me that they love my lines. I, li I write well and all of that. I remember there was a set I, I went to. I visited a set of a script or a film that I wrote and a very big director approached me. He was the one directing that film. And he approached me and he was like, did you write this script? I was like, yes. Like in my mind, I was really beginning to feel that, <laughs> that he wants to criticize the hell out of it. I was thinking that he wanted to tell me that I did bad. So he was like, he was like, wow, like, wow. That from my very first scene, from the scene one, he was able to see that I'm a good writer, you know? So 
I've gotten good critics, I've gotten bad critics too, but all of them bring about growth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if someone meets me and tell me that they want me to write a film script for them, the first thing I would look at is the number of scenes. The number of scenes, if it's a short film or if it's, you know, um, a long film. And then I also consider the, the, the level of brain work I have to impute in writing it. Do I have to do a lot of research? Do I have to meet people? Do you have to spend time, you know, just trying to look for ideas or knowledge in that particular um, storyline? And I look at all of these. I look at how big the production is going to be. Are they shooting it for Netflix or all of that? And all this affects how much I get to tell them at the end. If it's a big production, I'm definitely going to charge like very much higher than I would for a just a normal production yeah in content in content creation industry I I love um, a youtuber named Izune Zara and that's because she's a storyteller and yeah she I love the way she she tells her stories and it's just very captivating and I relate to it a lot like most times I feel like this is me so I see a like mind in her I see myself in her sometimes so that just made me to bring her out as my role model or my best content creator and then in the writing world I also fancy or admire Kemi Adetiba yeah I, I admire her a lot like I feel like she's a woman and she's doing a lot you know this kind of thing that people feel that women should not be directors, women should not be film producers, but she's doing, and she's a writer, she's a director, she's a producer, she's doing them and she's doing very great um, in those areas. So those are my two um, my two models in content creation and writing. Hmm, to be honest, I'm not really a social person. Like, I'm the type that would always cuddle myself off in my room, like, work on what I'm working on and, you know, forget about the outside world. But anyways, I, I just sometimes, I get tired of being indoors, so I go out, I try to mingle, I try to visit places, I try to just socialize, you know, even for a moment. And yeah, there's nothing much to manage between the two. I just have to, it's usually whenever I'm tired of being indoors, then I go out to socialize a bit, but not actually too much, not too much. My ideal work environment is my room, like my room, a place where I have my table, I have my computer, I have light, I have I, I, like accessible to anything like I can go to pick up water I can go to pick up drinks anything so my ideal um, work environment is or let me just say home my house or my room wherever indoors yeah a place that is free from from people or noise I just like being in my convenience like there in my room alone where I can think very well without any distortion <laughs> the techniques I use to overcome creative blocks, like this now, this is one of my techniques, like coming to somewhere cool, like going out of my comfort zone is one way through which I overcome creative block and reading other people's work, watching movies as well, or eating good food, like just these are things I do whenever I am out of ideas or I don't know what to write again or I don't know what to do again. I just I just go out, I just take a break. That's just it. Wow. Wow. Okay. For upcoming creators like me, I would just say that you should keep on moving. No pressure. No pressure at all. Just just keep on plotting and plotting. I mean don't feel pressurized about nothing. Don't feel pressurized that you are not doing 
you know, like others, don't feel pressurized that you're not getting the number of views or the number of appreciation you feel that your content is supposed to bring. Just, just keep doing it because even if it's one person, at least someone is watching, someone is looking at you and definitely somebody somewhere likes your content, even if you feel that you're not doing enough. So my advice to every young creators out there is that you should just keep on creating content and keep on showing the world what you have, keep on showing the world the magic you have in your creativity and don't stop for anything. I mean, be consistent. I know it's hard to be consistent, but be consistent. Just keep on doing and one day you just blow. Like you just blow, you just become a big name. Like everybody everywhere is going to know about you. So so yeah, just keep going. <laughs> my, <laughs> my experience with creating with Eddie Khan was was nice. It was superb. It was great. I mean, his questions are top notch, and I won't lie. And it made me to realize that I mean, even without you knowing, you are. You, you, you are great like he, he made me to think of of myself he made me to to think of things that i haven't even come to think of on a normal day it was great the location is nice this is my best place in jersey and i'm glad that that we did this here um i'm just it was a it was a very great experience and his hospitality and yeah it was great <laughs> so if you are seeing this and you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so um, subscribe like comment tell us what you think about this content and yeah if you're done doing that head over to my channel Choma Favy subscribe to my channel as well and don't hesitate to click on the notification bell of this channel so that you get notified whenever he posts a new video and yeah thank you so much for watching it was nice having it was nice being here yeah <laughs>